Hey Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is Donna from Tarot. Tarot, do a quick read for you all. I'm going to go over for just a minute um, what's going on astrologically. We'll go over um, what you experienced in the past. Um, we'll look over what's currently going on in your love life. Um, what's coming up for you. What's coming up for singles. Do a couple oracle cards. Six cards, Donna's Destiny. And then we're going to go over um, if you're dealing with an Aries, we're dealing with a Taurus. And we'll basically go through all the signs. So, astrologically... Um, your home life will be still um, up in the air for a couple more years. Um, things are going to be a little bit chaotic and unstable and unpredictable still in the home. Um, you have, um, there's a new moon in your second house of money, resources, and um, you know finances and self-worth and all that. So um, I think there's going to be a new start in some way, shape, or form when it comes to your money situation. Um, maybe you're you know, sitting down and going over a budget for the first time ever. I don't know. Something, there's a focus on your money and your resources. Um, you, they're going to be given, you know, extra attention for the next month or so. Um, right now and for the, you know, for the next um, probably a few months at least, um, actually probably for the next year, um, you're going to continue to be, um, you're going to come across to people as um, kind of serious. Um, you're going to be seen as, you know, hardworking right now. Um, and your career might be wearing you out at the moment. So let's look over what's going on um, as far as the past. We're using the steampunk deck to see what happened um, in your relationships in the past. And by the way, if this in any way, shape, or form resonates, um, or if you'd like this, feel free to hit the uh, like button. I'd appreciate it. All right, so in the past, using the uh, steampunk deck. Um, okay. So in the past, you lost sleep um, over some situation, um, and it I could have had to do. It could have had to have done. Well, there, here's a Virgo card. The, um, the Hermit card is the Virgo card. Um, and that always, you know, whenever I see Major Arcana, that always sticks out. Um, but it has something to do with your stability. Um, I mean, you could have, there could have been a lot, a quick loss of stability, financial stability. I don't know. Um, but something made you lose sleep um, and just, you know, be all up in your head. I think you, you tried to be successful in something and I think you were in the spotlight. A lot of people were, you know, you had a lot of eyes on you. Um, <laughs> YouTube, okay. So anyway, and so there was um, just, a, you tried to focus on see, getting to the heart of something, seeing the truth of something. Um, so you quickly, you know, moved towards focusing on your stability. But you lost a lot of sleep over something. So let's use the Wizard's Terror to see what's going on now. Let's see what's happening now. Uh, and I keep remember, I keep forgetting. I already shuffled everything, so all I need to do is a good faith shuffle. I don't need to, you know, shuffle for days. Um, so there it is again, Nine of Swords. Um, that's a Gemini card. So Ten of Wands, feeling burden. So losing sleep, feeling burden, um, being confused and not being able to see what's going on, feeling left out in the cold, kind of poor. Um... There's an argument happening, and then three of wands. So you're just kind of waiting to see. You're in a waiting pattern right now to see what's going on. Um, yeah, so you currently are still losing sleep, and you're just you're feeling burdened in some way by um, a situation which you just don't, you can't see the way to go. You can't see the, which path to take. Um, and you're, you're feeling left out in the cold in some way, um, probably because of an argument. Um, so you're just kind of waiting now. So using the light seers deck, we're going to look and see what's coming down the pike. What can we expect? Well, that's a good card, but let's see what else before I speak on that. There's your card, the Aquarius card, King of Swords. Um... Oh, you got a couple of kings. And a, there's a lot of people involved. Okay, so before I say anything, in the future, are you good? 
You got the lover's card on the bottom. So, um, I think that in the future, you can ex you're gonna have, you're gonna know what's what. You're gonna know you know where you stand with things. Um, you're gonna be feeling very passionate. There's gonna be commitment. I love this, um, and stability. Um, but there's two kings here and a queen, so there's a lot of people involved in this situation. Um, but you're gonna be sharing love with someone. Um, and this may be a soulmate type of person. I don't know. But there's going to be stability and commitment. So that's great. Aquarius, I did not expect that. Um, sometimes your reads make me a little nervous. Because, <laughs> you know, things will look like they're going good. And then they just go to shit. <laughs> so I like this. This looks good. You know, truth, clarity, commitment, stability. That is great. And it's it's in a, a lover situation. All right, so... Um, for the singles, um, what can single Aquarius folks expect? And I've already shuffled, so that's just a good faith shuffle. All right, so I think I'm getting a cold. All right, so, ooh, which one is that? Oh, that's a tower. Okay, so there's going to be a big shakeup for a lot of singles. I don't know. Maybe somebody's going to come in like a wrecking ball. Um, what the crap is that? Oh, King of... Okay, look at this. This is the Mabramig Tarot deck, and I'm still getting used to it. So I'm still trying to figure out what cards are what. But this is the the King of Pentacles. Look at this. How cute is this? This is adorable. It's adorable. <laughs> All right, so there may be a, some King of Pentacles type person. Um, masculine energy who's very um, stable may come in like a wrecking ball um, out of nowhere. I forgot to put Do Not Disturb on, so I got a call. Um, so singles, you have um, a tower moment. You've got the tower card. You have the king of pentacles. You have the two of pentacles. Okay, that is the devil. Ooh, look at this. This is the devil in the uh, Mabramig deck. That's the devil. All right, so... And the four wands, that's twice. So, um, Aries, that's Aries energy. And then you have the uh, hangman. <laughs> this, singles, this is, and at the very center of it, what I'm looking at is, um, is weighing options, possibly juggling, hopefully not juggling, but it, it does look like juggling, actually, when you look at the Brahma deck, I cannot pick up cards for shit right now. All right, so what was that one? Um, oh, that's the Justice card. Okay. Um, but this one definitely looks like juggling. This definitely, just the way that it's dressed, um, it looks like juggling. So look at that in Mabramic. So actually, singles, you may de be dealing with somebody who they're not just dealing with you. Uh, they may come in like a wrecking ball. Um, I almost wonder if this is somebody that's already in a commitment. That could be it. They could be juggling you and someone else that they're in a commitment with. And that's why the devil is right in front of the four of wands. Which leaves you hanging... Um, and feeling stuck and trying to see things from a different perspective. So if you get any kind of red flags, any kind of inkling, feeling like there's somebody else, yeah, I would, I would back out of that. So singles, if somebody comes in that's kind of like a wrecking ball, and, and I don't know, maybe they're like, if they, if they like um, love bomb you or just like try to, you know, be all dramatic and they just so in love with you and you're perfect for them and all of a sudden they try to sweep you off your feet if you get a gut feeling or any kind of anything that insinuates that there's somebody else that you're not the only one yeah they're juggling you they may be married they may be in a, or just in a commitment of some sort um but i don't think you're gonna be the only one because i think they're already married they're already, look, they're already in chains. They're already chained down. That's interesting. To someone they're married to. Yeah. All right. So, um, 
let's look at oracle cards then we'll do six cards done as destiny and then we'll go over all the signs all right so um seek um this almost this looks like seeking through meditation um so seek answers possibly through meditation or you know going within um so what else lay a solid foundation yes so for anything you do uh, make sure that things are built on a solid foundation that things are very clear you know where you stand you know <sighs> my pets you know what's going on um that there's no confusion murkiness you know so yeah lay a solid foundation relationships money career friendships all of it um, a win-win outcome is forecast. New Moon and Libra. All right. And I did see the Justice card underneath um, the Hangman. So, you know, things are going to work out in your favor. That You know, they're, they're going to be equal. Things are going to work out the way that it's, you know, correct for everyone. Have faith. So if you're worried, things are, like I said, things are going to work out. Um, let's see. What else? I did a... I uh, already shuffled everything, so I'm just doing good faith shuffles for everything. Animals. So somehow animals are going to figure prominently in your um, life in the near future. And where is... Here it is. Okay. So... Oh, and then let's do six cards. Donna's Destiny, and then we'll do all signs. So Aquarius. Oh, and I got a, a low battery warning. Buy a lottery ticket. Um, they are losing sleep over this. Well... So is it you or them? Because somebody's losing sleep over. They are secretly thinking marriage. They're terrified of opening up emotionally. Take the trip. Uh, wedding bells. What the crap? And don't waste your time. <laughs> wow, my cards are bipolar. All right, so I think my cards are bipolar for sure. So let's see. If you are dealing with... Um, I'm going to actually pick these cards first. And then we're going to do all signs. All right. So if you are dealing with an Aries, I'm not, we're not playing that. Come on now. If you're dealing with an Aries, uh, they're putting their, they're just, they're focusing on work right now. Rosie, they're focusing on work right now. If you're dealing with a Taurus, um, they want to share love and they want things to be successful between you. Um, if you're dealing with a Gemini, they're feeling very passionate towards you and they want things to grow. If you're dealing with a Cancer, um, I think they're going to travel towards you because they want they want things to work out. They want things to be um, stable, successful. If you're dealing with a Leo, um, they want re to reconcile. That's so funny. Capricorn got the same thing, um, but it was a different sign. They they want to reconcile, but no, it was the same sign. It was Leo. That's funny. So. Leo wants to reconcile, but they are holding back and waiting to see what you do. Um, and Virgo is just wanting to end things, I think, um, because they have trust issues. Uh, Libra is walking away, um, and they're just, they're kind of focusing on casual right now, just casual sex or whatever. Um, yeah, Libra. Scorpio is um, being... Offensive. Oh, actually, they're being they're being they're impulsively trying to defend what's um, their own in their eyes. So if, if you are if you belong to them, they're they're being um, out of nowhere. They're just they're choosing to stand up for what they believe is theirs. Do they think they own you? I don't know. Um, so Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Um, wow. You are the option they want. They want to commit to you. Okay, so uh, Capricorn. You're dealing with Capricorn. They're spying on you and um, looking how you know how far you've come and what you've been through. Uh, if you're dealing with Aquarius, um, they love you. You are their wish fulfillment. That's interesting. Two Aquariuses. Uh, Pisces, um, they're kind of disappointed and they're just kind of being chilly towards you. And... I think as far as all the signs, this um, 
the situation, what's going on with you all, involves needing to balance things out so it's equal for both parties. All right, with that said, I'm going to hold these up because why not? <laughs> why not? Um, all right, Aquarius here. I love you guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you all in the next reading. All right, love you.